Footballer of the last decade, 227 goals in 367 games for Glenavon, 23 goals in 72 appearances for Ards, and when last Saturday came, Spike scored his 200th for Linfield on his 350th appearance to take his career tally to an amazing 450 goals. Sometimes I feel like throwing my hands up in the Glenn Ferguson's record-breaking day began at the unlikely setting of an under-11s football match. And if Dungoyne boy striker Matthew Ferguson needs any goal-scoring tips, he need look no further than his dad, one of the Irish League's best ever. What about that finish by Glenn Ferguson? Chance to deliver, he does. Ferguson! What are the highlights? What are the, what are the favourite goals? Uh, I asked this question many times, you know, another score one against Newry at Windsor a couple of seasons back. I hit from about 30 yards and just from the top corner, you know, but um, I'm one of those strikers. It's just anyone at all. If it hits you in the back side and goes in, or you score one goal, they all count the same, they all mean the same, you know, so I'll take whatever comes along. You know, I'm just sitting about the house all day thinking about my game, you know, come here. This kills a couple of hours for me and I get great enjoyment out of watching him. He's always looking me to try and score a hat-trick so he can get the ball to kick out the street, you know. Uh, no, but I love going to watch him and I say he enjoys coming to watch me. Dungoyne won their top of the table clash, two goals to one. Guess who scored the winner? Play for if only if I'm good, good enough, I'll go and play for United if I could ask. Just like before, I know I call on you. Oh. How good is your dad as a player? I think he's doing all right for 36. Limpins 1-0 lead at half time, there were few chances for the league's top scorer. Until Ferguson, still Ferguson. Oh, he's missed the chance to reach a couple of milestones. Like all at Windsor Park, Matthew watched and waited. Mark Pinkin gets it over. Here's Ferguson. Oh god! Oh, oh, oh. That is the moment. There's the t-shirt. 200 goals for Linfield, 450 career goals. We didn't think he was going to make it, but right at the death, he's celebrating. Glenn, so how's it feel? You got the goal? <sighs> Had to wait out that last minute for it, but it's well worth it, worth waiting for. I'll keep playing here as long as uh, the board and the manager wants me. And if I keep creating chances, I'm sure I keep scoring goals. And hopefully it'll keep going the rest of the season. I'm on a good run at the minute and hopefully it'll keep going. You've got the love. You've got the love. Well, a bit uh, like father, like son there. Glenn, 450 goals. What does, does that footballing landmark mean to you? Obviously I'm delighted with it, you know. Um, it's a long time coming. It's, it's took me about 17, 18 years to amass that, you know. Uh, but I say, I've always said, I work very hard at it, you know. I, I train with the boys and uh, say, work hard and hopefully the chance will be created. And I always have confidence in my ability to score goals and I think that proves it. So much is always made of your age. You're 36 now. I know you won't mind me saying that. But you're still going strong. You've still got the drive and the motivation to, to, to play on, I assume. Yeah, when you play at Linfield, you know, you have a manager whose hunger and desire is second to none, you know, and that breeds right through the players. The players all think the same way. We all turn up training and we train the way we play. You know, everyone's so committed, get stuck in each other, and, but we also drive each other on. We've a squad of 25, 26 players there and, you know, and every one of them is behind each other.
I was badgering Saul about signing his contract. Uh, surely Linfield will want you to put pen to paper at the end of the season for another one. Well, I hope so. You know, if they want me, uh, I'll definitely stay. You know, it's it's a big, massive club, and it's not one you want to leave. You know, so hopefully I'll be around next season again. Hopefully, score another few goals. Saul, you were you were watching that. What do you make of this man sitting beside you? Well, you can only congratulate a man like that who scores so many goals, and as you seen, he makes it look so easy. So. I've seen many goalkeepers in like the Fisk Glen in Ivy's League, so I don't think I'd be the same keeper he would want to go out and play against every week either. But as I say, it's a great credit to any young kid coming from Northern Ireland. They look and watch and just show you what you can do. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what age you are. If you have the drive and hunger, money, work hard, you'll achieve the same. I know you're a Manchester United fan, Glenn, but surely uh, you want Saul here to do well for Burton Albion next week. Great for the wee clubs. Oh, it would be. It'd be super, you know. Especially Saul, because he's going to be in the shop window now. Um, I guess everyone knows his contract's going to be up in the summer. So if he goes out and puts another great performance against Manchester United, you know, there's every chance he get a move to a bigger club. You know, uh, what I say, but my old heart will have to <laughs> the rule there. And I might maybe let Manchester United win the penalty shootout and hopefully Saul will see if he... I'm a Liverpool fan. Go ahead and win. <laughs> I'm happy enough, Saul. So.